Welcome to Opalus TV. Today we have Jack Schwager, author of the Market Wizard series, and he's just launched a very interesting and dynamic platform for up and coming traders called Fund Cedar. Now, Jack, give me an overview on Fund Cedar and FundCedar.com. So, Fund Cedar, the, the raison d'etre of Fund Cedar, is to basically discover. Uh, Un, undiscovered trading talent worldwide. So the way the investment world has evolved, it's become more and more a matter of the same small number of curators directing investor assets into the same small number of super large uh, asset managers. And it leaves out a tremendous uh, scope of other people who have trading talent but don't have access to capital. So the, uh, the concept of FundCedar.com was to s use the power of the web to create a central uh, website where traders could go. Uh, they could link their account to, you know, via, uh, the, via their brokerage uh, to the site and basically create in real time daily verified track record of their performance because the data is coming from, from, the, from the brokerage. So it's a way, first of all, it's a way of, of traders establishing this uh, verified track record. Secondly, it provides traders with, with uh, lots of interesting tools. For example, I, I trade uh, myself and one of the things I've always missed is not being able to kind of have a chart of my equity curve unless I wanted to sort of write down every day what my, my, my uh, liquidating assets are and then put in an Excel sheet and then do a plot. But there was really no you know, software, you know, brokerage, brokerages really didn't provide that type of output. and. Uh, and it's not common software. So having the ability to see your equity curve uh, in, in real time and as it evolves and be uh, visually aware if you're seeing uh, declines in your equity curve or anything like that is kind of very helpful. Plus, you can then take that data and do all sorts of analysis on it. You can generate things like underwater curves off your equity curve. You can generate uh, rolling indicators, whether it's rolling return or a rolling uh, gain to pain ratio or any number of measures. And so we provide that, and we also provide a whole number of tools, and so that's what we give traders. On the other hand, we've got a, uh, a sister company called Fundseeder Investments, which is the regulated entity, and Fundseeder Investments, uh, that's where the, the monetization will come in. Because right now, if you think about it, well, why, why are we doing this? I mean, we're not charging traders, we're giving them, we've got this nice elaborate platform where we're tracking, you know, we're doing the development work to, to connect to various brokers, and so how does that make any sense? Well, it makes sense because it means it gives us an edge in discovering trading talent globally from traders who, who really wouldn't be found in other ways, and giving traders, whether they're in Eastern Europe or Southeast Asia or South America or South Africa or anywhere you can think of, uh, or they could be, of course, in the United States or any developed country, but giving traders, no matter where they are, no matter what their edu you know, whether they have an Ivy League degree or not, or even if they don't even have a college degree, but if they are able to generate good return to risk in an account that's being tracked and verified, it gives that those type of traders an opportunity to be discovered by us, and and for us to direct those traders uh, into emerging manager funds as one as one product, or to direct them to investors that we have uh, links and associations with who we know are looking for uh, certain types of traders and particularly certain types of emerging traders. So uh, we act as that connecting link through the two, two companies. I like to summarize it in one sentence. Fundseed's mission is to basically democratize and globalize the asset management uh, world. So Jack, when you're monitoring this universe of traders, and say you see excellent performance in a number of traders, what's it like for them to actually get an end investment from you? What's that process like, and what kind of track record do they need? It's how long of a track record. There's no, no easy answer on that. Uh, one thing I'll say right off the bat is we're capturing daily data. Uh, so and daily data gives you answers and information much more quickly, obviously, than monthly data would. And uh, like I like to say, there's no place to hide in daily data. You can have a manager who, say, shows a, a return of minus 5% in a given month. You might say, well, that's not, that's not bad. But for all you know, maybe he was down 25% uh, 
earlier in the month and just and managed to come back and, and, and only lose five. So there's all sorts of risks that could hide in monthly data. So one for one item to keep in mind, this is daily data, so we get much more uh, microscopic information. The other thing to keep in mind is we start tracking traders daily, but in, depending which who their broker is and what the source is, in many cases we're able to pull in historical data. So, so it's not just like the account begins from the day that the, uh, the trader signs up. When they sign up, we, the account uh, starts getting tracked, but uh, in many cases that linkage to the broker also imports historical equity numbers for the trader. So uh, that gives us longer records. And, and so even though the company is not uh, is fairly new, uh, we still have a tra uh, traders with, with multi-year track records. We just really launched a new platform about a month and a half ago and really just now beginning to do some marketing, you know, like this particular chat here. We anticipate we'll see a large influx of, of traders that'll come in over the course, say, of this year and coming years. So uh, this is all in the building process. I, I got off the tangent there, but I didn't, your question really was about how how do traders get 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 allocations out of all of this? Well, uh, like anything else in the real world, uh, only only the best you know the best at, at in this case the best traders are the ones which will benefit in that way. Uh, every, every trader can benefit by just getting the analytics and the, and all the things on the platform and improve their trading and the, through that. And that, that's there for anybody. But uh, as far as getting allocations, it's only going to be a small percentage. And to be honest, my, my expectation is it'll be some fraction of 1%. And that's the, that's the way it has to be because we, we anticipate that ultimately there could be 100,000 traders on the platform you know, over, over the next few years. You're not going to have 10,000 really good traders out of that group. So just like anything else, there's only a small percentage that are really superior. So, But for those traders who do uh, demonstrate superior return risk performance, th those are traders will pull out, those are traders will follow up on, do, do compliance and due diligence on, and decide which ones uh, are, um, are material for uh, investment either through our own funds, uh, multi-manager funds, or by introducing them to investors interested in their type of strategy. You mentioned that traders aren't subject to bias, like anyone can set up an account and trade and monitor their performance. But as far as getting an actual allocation, will that bias come into play from the investor perspective, such as background or work experience, for example? That's a great question. And of course there will be. But we're looking for those investors who realize that there's there's plenty of money with the super large managers and there's actually a disadvantage to size uh, when you get beyond a certain level and that the real, the best potential sometimes for return to risk lies not in the manager managing 20 billion, but it lies in the manager of managing 50 million or 10 million or even 2 million sometimes, you know. So there are investors who understand that. Now they can't, you can't take an investor who's a, a, a manager or a trader who's, who's managing $5 million and then and give them $100 million. But certainly what you can do is you can allocate small, small amounts to multiple, multiple traders, uh, either one at a time or through a vehicle that combines the managers. You alluded to some of the tools on the site earlier for traders, but can you give us some examples of some of the additional tools and add-ons that traders can utilize on your system? So you, there's, this, there's multiple tools, and the way the tools work, it's a, it's a separate analytics kit. Uh, right now, we have uh, have three of these so-called tools in place. One I've talked about, the idea of applying technical analysis to your equity curve. And that, and, and those tools, and within that, within that tool, there are tools that you can apply, such as move, crossover moving averages, or uh, uh, a breakout type of a systematic approach, or uh, retracement from peaks and bottoms, and also Bollinger Bands, which almost takes a contrarian view. If you're making money too quickly, to sort of let you know when you're a certain amount of standard deviations beyond the, the uh, average uh, equity curve. So uh, all of those tools, you know, so that's all part of one tool. Now we have. Other tools, one other tool is a rolling indicator tool. So that allows you to specify a period, say like one year, pick a, a metric, say return, it'll start real simple, 
and, and, and a display period and say the whole track record. So what you get then is you get the 12-month return every day. So every day you move up one day and you get a, you get a 12-month return moving through time. And what's good about that type of statistic is you can see the consistency of whatever the measure is. So you, you, you can see you know, somebody might have good returns overall, but it could be that in certain periods they have very super high returns and certain periods they have uh, the 12 month, and I'm talking about 12 months, you're looking back, we're talking about an interval here, but there are 12 month periods where they have a significant loss. So uh, that's much less desirable than somebody who has a 12 month rolling return that stays within a, a band. And, and the same type of approach can also be used with uh, different uh, measures such as uh, you know, a sharp ratio or a gain to pain ratio or a Sortino based ratio. And we have a whole list of indicator, uh, me metrics that can be used with this rolling indicator. And I used one year, you could use a three month interval, use any interval you want. So that's another tool. And uh, the other thing I would say is that we are building out this platform. So we have literally a a, a list of another 15 or so tools that will be coming on one at a time, things such as uh, Monte Carlo simulations, uh, factor analysis, correlation matrices, and so forth. And all these tools are basically, for now at least, available to traders for free. Are there ever issues interfacing your site and the back end with the brokerage side of things? Unfortunately, the, the interface issue is, is a difficult one because all different brokers have different uh, different back office processes and so forth. So uh, it, it's a matter of having to, re unfortunately, reinvent the wheel a number of times for different brokerages. Now, we've got large segments of connectivity, for example, in the FX world, uh, anybody using MT4, which probably includes 100 different FX brokers, we can link with. There, there are you know, interactive brokers as TradeStation, which is really yes, the on. Uh, uh, in the futures world, uh, uh, a whole list of uh, futures brokers who have a GMI platform uh, become uh, linkable. Uh, so we, we, are, and we are gradually expanding that list. But still, of course, there are some firms, including some larger firms that we are not yet linked to, not through any lack of desire on our part, uh, sometimes because it's hard to get them to uh, sometimes cooperate with us. Uh, we, we're still a startup firm, and uh, I think as we grow and as as more traders start asking them, demanding from their broker, hey, I want to get connectivity in the fund seater, it'll become easier and easier. We anticipate that will continue to grow. We have, however, a workaround for those traders who are, have their account with a broker who cannot link right now, and those traders. Um, what they can do at this point, if they don't want to switch their account to a broker that is linkable, what they can do is, out of our drop-down sheet of all the different types of brokers that we have available, there's a last item which says unverified, you know, unverified link. If they choose that, uh, there'll be a template that'll pop up. They can cut and paste their net daily equity into that uh, template and just upload it, and boom, they'll have their equity curve, they'll have the analytics, they'll have access to everything, except there's not a direct link to the broker. So the data in this case has come from them, which means that it will be labeled as unverified. One question we do get is, uh, okay, I guess I get it, I can get the analytics, I can see all that, that's great, but does that mean if, if my broker doesn't link and I'm on unverified, does that mean I'm, I'm out of the uh, running of ever getting any, uh, being looked at for capital allocations? So what you, what you don't get is uh, we have a leaderboard. You can't be eligible for the leaderboard if it's unverified. So that, that's, that's true. However, we understand that um, people have unverified data frequently and maybe most of the time uh, because they just don't have the connectivity right now, uh, not because they're trying to hide anything. So uh, start out with the assumption, every, assuming that every trader knows we're not gonna just allocate money through front seat investments without doing some real checking. So, I mean, any, somebody can go and do unverified data and make up numbers. It's not going to get them very far in that regard because the first time we look at anything, it's not, it's, it's not going to go anywhere and I'll, and I'll lose access to the site to boot. So there's no motivation for anybody to do that, but we realize that. So when we search for traders, we, will, we are designing our searches to not only search the verified database, but to search the unverified database. So if we find traders that look really good on the unverified database, uh, we will still do a follow-up there. And, and uh, so there is still the potential uh, for allocations, even if you are unverified.
do you think you'll find the next market wizard through your platform and through this program? Yeah, I, I do expect to find some great traders through, through the site. Uh, if we didn't expect that, we wouldn't have gone through the whole investment process of building out this platform of all the work and money that was involved in doing it. So sure, that's, that's the expectation. Now, because of that, one of the side benefits is that uh, there will be in, 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 in the future potentially a book called Undiscovered Market Wizards where they'll well, do the market wizard type uh, book, but with traders we've found through the website. And, and I expect that, that that group of traders will probably be far more global than, than the, the, the other market wizard books, where, where there were some people from different countries, but, but mostly it was largely US-centric with a secondary contribution from, from London. This this up this undiscovered market was a book I would expect to find traders you know much more broadly spread across the globe, so um, that's one offshoot that'll come out of this project. It was not the obviously the intention of the project, uh, uh, but it but it's a benefit that comes out of it. Also, uh, it gives uh, traders another another benefit from their perspective because I could see uh, being a trader out there who who was talented and says, you know, who thinks they can be then, you know, a market wizard and and they have that potential and maybe they're they're demonstrating great great performance, but nobody knows they exist. So this sort of gives them uh, a, a way of potentially getting great notoriety uh, in a very quick way by being included uh, in, in that type of book. So it also benefits traders in that respect. It seems to me that this program could be a stepping stone for a talented trader to advance or to change their career. Do you see that as an additional benefit of your program? So yeah, well, it's one of the things that are certainly possible. So we picture that uh, traders uh, who are on funds either, uh, that w one avenue we, we might, one avenue we have talked about potentially is that we might introduce them uh, for trading careers. We, we'd have to have some sort of agreement with traders we do that for, obviously. I think, though, that our primary interest is not playing that role, but more to play the role of uh, allocating or introducing, uh, introducing capital. Uh, the, the, the best goal, I think, for our perspective is create multi-manager funds where we directly allocate to those managers. And that's, that's I think, the, the, that creates the best product for diversification reasons, and it also uh, keeps us linked very closely to the traders, and I think that's the best model. But certainly we also expect to go other routes, which include the introduction of traders to investors, sort of a cap intro uh, role, and, and also potentially an intro of introducing traders to a prop position, which, which may be oriented to them, and uh, that is a possibility, but I wouldn't put it out anywhere near the top of the list.